Hi everyone, it's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Today is Tuesday, July 28th, 2020. I want to say happy anniversary to my husband, James Barentine. Today's our 12th wedding anniversary. He was gracious enough to stay home with the dogs and feed the horses this morning while I ran into Colorado Springs to FedEx where I picked up two little tiny baby corn snakes which came from Silent Hills Reptiles, JT and Mindy Fitzgerald. We've worked with them before and they are absolutely fantastic to work with. We have a corn snake in our corn snake behavioral outreach cadre which we are calling the Delightful Dozen named Nissa, who also came from Silent Hills Reptiles. And the two corn snakes we picked up this morning will top off and fill our behavioral outreach cadre. We're calling our 12 corn snakes the delightful dozen. That was the plan. COVID-19 and the coronavirus has kind of put a damper on any in-person behavioral and educational outreach that we're doing with our corn snakes and a few of our other snakes. However, we're making lots and lots of videos and these snakes will continue to be featured in those. This little corn snake is about five and a half weeks old. He was hatched on June 18th, 2020. He is a phantom, so he's kind of gray in color and I think that that grayish silver color is going to become more pronounced as he gets older. But I'm less concerned about his color and more concerned about his temperament because we're specifically wanting to use him for educational purposes and outreach. And because he joined our family for that reason, Mindy and JT were kind enough to do some behavioral evaluations and temperament testing on some of their baby corn snakes and gave us a few suggestions on which ones they thought would be good. And so far this morning, he's been phenomenal. His name is Vac LaRouche. That comes from the television series Stargate, Stargate SG-1 and Stargate Atlantis. Teoth Vac LaRouche was the name the ancients had for the planet Castiana in that television series. So we're going to call him Vac LaRouche. I got some video footage of him being opened up this morning. I unboxed him at FedEx in my van as usual because it's almost an hour away from our ranch and I always like to open them up there, put them in a travel container for the drive home and then get them set up in their quarantine enclosures. He was so tiny that after I took him out of his transport container, I was nervous about having him in my actual transport tub. I was worried the holes were too big or that he would fit out through the uh, sides where the lid and the tub met. And so I ended up putting him back in his little deli cup that he came in until we got home. And so I got some footage of him coming out of the deli cup. I got some footage of how I have set up his enclosure so here's how I'm setting up what is meant to be an insect habitat for this baby corn snake from Silent Hill Reptiles that was just born on June 18th, 2020. And so he's only five and a half weeks old, very tiny. I worry about them getting out of holes in tubs and the seams in the tubs where the lids in the tub come together or where the handles on the tubs are. And I also worry about them getting out the holes in other terrariums that are meant for the cords and the temperature probes and things to go through. And since the little guy is going to be in quarantine, I want him to have behavioral enrichment opportunities, but I also want to be able to watch and see what the urates and feces look like and keep an eye out for any possible regurgitation. So I'm for right now using paper towels as substrate but I've got four of them layered down here. And then I always give them a box or something that has some other substrate opportunity in it. And this is a box with a hole cut on the side that has some aspen bedding in it because corn snakes like to burrow. And even though I do need to watch what's going on with the animal and he's in quarantine, I do want him to have the ability to do some burrowing and be in this dry aspen if he chooses. And it's light enough colored that I should still be able to see if there's anything unusual going on. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put a humid hide that has damp sphagnum moss in it. I'm gonna use just a cardboard box as a simple hide that I'm gonna put on the ground. And then I'm gonna put a paper towel, half of a paper towel tube in here 
and I always like to, if possible, use a water dish that can also double as a hide. And I find corn snakes especially really like to get underneath these water dishes. In addition to that, I've just crumpled up some paper towels that I'm gonna put in here to um, provide some extra burrowing opportunities and provide the snakes an opportunity to get underneath something um, other than just inside the actual hides. And then corn snakes are climbers. And so I have a perch in here that's made of three quarter inch PVC and the vines on the outside are just synthetic. And then this is the lid that's gonna go on here. And when I put the snake in, I'll talk about how you wanna make sure that that lid snaps shut adequately or else they'll be able to get out. And then I always put their information on the front. This is actually meant to be an insect or very, very small mammal habitat. And I feel comfortable putting him in here because the holes are so tiny that there's nowhere he can squeeze out of. I also really like the terrariums with the slide tops that lock in. But all of mine are full right now and so he and the other snake we got this morning are going to start out in these containers. I went over extensively what I have in his container. I just want to make sure that if you use this the, that I mentioned the lids have to lock down completely so you need to hear each end snap down and then this lid in the middle that is meant for I think feeding you need to make sure you hear that click down as well. And if everything is clipped down the way it should, they're not getting out of this. It seals very tightly and none of the holes are big enough for even a baby corn snake to get through. You just wanna make sure, because this is hard and brittle plastic, that no part of it is broken and you wanna make sure that it is snapped down completely. If you have any concerns about that whatsoever, don't use it. I really recommend as the number one thing to put very tiny snakes in, like baby corn snakes are the 10 gallon terrariums or the 10 gallon aquariums that come with a sliding top that locks in. And I have some footage of those that I'm going to include in this video so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is our latest addition from Silent Hill Reptiles. It's a five and a half week old phantom corn snake. We're calling him Teoth Vaclarouche. Hi, little guy. I'm going to put him in his quarantine habitat. And I'm going to put him in there with some of the paper towel 
material that he came in. I do that so that they have some familiar sense, but he doesn't seem like he's that worried about that. I'm still gonna put it in there as something additional for him to hide under. I'm going to put this other piece in here as well. He's uh, nice and active and alert. Right now, I'm not providing any supplemental heating for this container. It's summertime here in Colorado, and the ambient temperature in our house usually sits right around 78 to 82 degrees. We don't have central air conditioning. Most of the snakes don't require supplemental heat this time of year. I am providing UVB lighting for a few hours a day to all of the snakes now. The UVB bulbs that I use, which are the Arcadia, don't have a very high heat output and I'm actually able to use those not only with screen tops and glass enclosures but also with many of the plastic enclosures that I use and the plastic tubs that I have some snakes in. So I may experiment with that on this container and they make very very small ones and they make very very large ones so no matter what size terrarium or habitat you have for your snake I'm sure that they have one that would be appropriate. for joining me today for this video of Vak LaRouche as he got picked up and as he's getting settled in here at Behavior Education. Everybody please remember to always be kind and love your animals.